will ask you their questions directly. We'll start with Ted Lewis from the New Orleans Advocate. Yes. Uh, I was wondering what you made such a, a, a game, since your game winning play against Oklahoma State. What was the reaction when you got back? If anything funny happened, if people asked you to sign autographs, pictures of the play, anything like that? And with the NIL, have you been able to cash in on it? <laughs> well, yeah, there's been there's been a lot of people asking me for autographs and stuff with pictures of the play, the aerial review and stuff. And I have been able to make some NIL deals about it. So it's been it's been really cool. It's been a great couple of weeks since I've made the play. So yeah. Okay, up next we have Curtis Wellen with KC and TV Waco. And Jaron, obviously, this is a New Year's Six game. There's supposed to be so much pageantry that goes along with it, and some of that kind of got dwindled away with an uptick in COVID cases. You guys didn't get here until two days later. I mean, what's life like in the in the bubble that was formed on less than a week's notice? Yeah, life's good in the bubble still. They're still uh, treating us really nice in the hotel, and uh, having all your teammates around and getting to you know bond with them even more has been nice. So it's it's not been too different, but it is a little different. But uh, yeah, we're just getting ready to play and we're, we're excited to compete. Okay, we'll have John Werner with the Waco Tribune Herald up next. Uh, hey, Jaron, um, what does it mean for you to be back here and, and uh, in the Sugar Bowl? And, and what did you learn from the first game that maybe that, uh, that can help the team? Yeah, it means a lot to be back, you know, kind of seeing the scenery that's kind of familiar to you. The stadium's gonna be familiar. So I'm gonna be more comfortable in the game. and. Um, this time we want to win it. You know, we've been here before and we've experienced the Sugar Bowl pageantry, but uh, we didn't win last time. So this time it's a big focus on winning. Okay, up next we'll have Jerry Hill with Baylor Bear Insider. Hey, Jaron, uh, you were obviously here when, uh, or Coach Levy was still here when you we, you first got here. Do you see similarities in, in the Ole Miss offense that, that you saw in Baylor's offense back in the day? Yeah, I do, especially with the tempo and how fast they go. You know, they're one of the fastest teams in the country. So we're going to have to handle that and handle our conditioning to make sure we can stop them. Okay, and it looks like we have one from Jack Allen with KXXB. Hey, Jaron, I was just wondering, as you've looked at the film, is there a quarterback that y'all have played this season that when you look at Matt Corral, you kind of say he looks a little bit like this or is he a unique animal? I would say uh, Spencer Sanders, his athleticism, you know, Corral can can run it similar to him. We had a, a great plan to stop his um, his legs and Spencer Sanders. But, uh, yeah, uh, Corral has a cannon for an arm, so we haven't really played anyone who can throw the ball 75 yards in the air. So we've been practicing that, and uh, we're ready for deep shots. So, yeah. Okay, one final question from Matt Lively with KCEN Waco. Hey, Jaron, from 2016 to now, what are the biggest changes in this program and some of the similarities as well? I'd say the biggest changes are um, just the relationships on the team, how close everyone is and uh, how, how the brotherhood has grown over that time period. And for um, similarities, I'd say competitiveness. We still want to win. You know, it's been a competitive program since I've got here. Everyone uh, really focuses on winning. So that's, uh, that's still in our heart, and we, we want to win every game we play. All right, that'll be it for this morning. Thank you for being here. All right, thank Talk you, all. you guys.